Directions. Read the passage carefully. Underline the nouns found in the passage. Mang Ifren lives in one of the barangays in Taragana. He is a farmer. He has six children, namely Maria, Marta, Pedro, Juan, Ben, and Kiko to feed on. That's why he needs to work hard to earn money. Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Meron na naman tayong iba vlog today and this has something to do with um, this one that I've just read. Ito po ay galing sa isang module na naman. Siguro ma marami sa atin nabasa na to or na-encounter na to sa social media, Twitter or Facebook. Okay, um, first of all, nung makita ko tong uh, paragraph na to or tong part na to ng module, I was very alarmed. Kaya I have to make another reaction and uh, most probably I have to give my opinion regarding this. It could be whatever it is that is in the paragraph or in the context at syempre kung ano yung personal kong opinion about a certain comment ng isang writer ng GMA Kapuso. Uh, I'm not gonna mention her name. Baka sumikit lalo. Okay. So, first of all, yung, yung, um, eto mismo part ng module na to, let's try to check. I was very surprised to, to see na, um, passage ang sinabi. Let me give you the difference of a passage and a paragraph. When you say passage, eto ay yung mga part lang, excerpts, from a larger work. Like, a story, kumuha ka lang ng konting part. Usually, wala siyang intention. Kasi, Ano lang siya eh? Lines lang? Few lines? It could be quotation. So, pwede siya coming from a book, coming from a movie, or coming from a certain, um, a certain line. It could be one sentence. It could be more than that. Pero, hindi siya isang paragraph na, na may in intention. At syempre, something that is giving you a complete thought. So, eto, as far as I understand, eto po ay isang paragraph. Kasi, I'm sure that this is made for the intention of, you know, just this one. Hindi to galing sa isang napakalaking art, uh, work of uh, literature, perhaps. So, this is a paragraph. That's one thing. I want you to know and take note of the difference between a passage and a paragraph. So, that's that's one thing. Now, um, I was very alarmed nung makita ko yung, yung ginamit na salita na feed on. Let me read it again. Um, he has six children, namely Maria, Marta, Pedro, Juan, Ben, and Kiko to feed on. This is what I've been telling uh, in my... I, I've told this a lot in my previous blogs that has to do with preposition. Yung prepositions uh, are something like on, in, at, and so on. Yun yung kinakabit after a verb. So, punta tayo dun sa feed on. So, feed is a verb, on is the preposition. Prepositions, or what you call the particles, particles, small parts of the language, but it, it makes so much difference. Um, ibang iba pag nilagyan mo ng ibang or ng preposition or isang preposition ng isang verb. Magkakaiba yan. Dito sa sentence na to, dapat ang ginamit lang ay feed. Kasi pag sinabi pong feed is to give food or to provide food. Just feed. Alright? Feed. Feed someone. To feed. Okay, that's all. Kasi pag sinabing feed on, iba na po ang ibig sabihin noon. It could still mean like food, pero this is mostly used for animals. The meaning of that is like to eat something as food. For example, humans feed on rice. Is that grammatically correct? Yes. Kaya lang po as I told you, mostly used for animals ang feed on. Example, Monkeys feed on bananas. Owls feed on insects and birds. Is it hard to, to get or to research before they come up with a certain, you know, kind of part of module like this? Hindi naman mahirap pong mag-research eh. This is what I, what I can advise sa mga teachers at sa mga, syempre, online or, or the ones that are actually in the classroom before you even, um, I, I mean, it's fun to research. Andami nga yung resources like Google 
and others hindi na siguro pwede yung mga sobrang lalaking materials like dictionary we have a lot more uh, dito um, um, this is my advice when you google on something like if you want to know the, the meaning of something uh, don't just focus dun sa unang uh, ibibigay na result try to explore Try to know the culture of the language. English ang pinag-usapan natin. Try to get into the forum. May mga forum dyan online and people are, or experts are actually giving their opinions. And you can try to analyze which one actually is more acceptable and more commonly used according to these experts na nasa forum. That's what I usually do kung kailangan ko talagang mag-research. I have been researching all my life since I was an English teacher for so long doon tayo nagiging magaling I am not saying na magaling na ako or nagmamagaling ako but I have to make sure that I do research and try to understand what I'm trying to research on okay so I'll say it again don't use feed for or feed on sa humans or sa mga tao why can't you just use the word feed okay feed on is for animals Okay, okay, this is really alarming. So, sa Twitter po, ay eto na yung sunod na uh, merong isang certain kapuso writer, GMA writer, na nagbigay ng kanyang opinion um, na yung, um, na yung uh, photo na yun of the impression of a farmer's family is just right. Eto yung sinabi niya. E ano ba akala sa damit ng mga magsasaka at, at, at family niya? Branded? Tama ang drawing. Miserable ang buhay ng mga magsasaka natin. Nagkakabagong damit lang ang magsasaka pag may libring t-shirts sa hardware tuwing Pasko o giveaway sa election. This is very, very disappointing then. Um, very disparaging. Very despising for the farmers. Ang family ni Diyos ay farmers. Mga kapatid niya, farmers. But I've never seen like a ta uh, uh, seen them like wearing tattered clothes, gulago na net, at sobrang luluma na. Um, let me show you again yung, yung photo. Doon na tayo. Ito yung photo niya. There are a lot of possible uh, photos or concept na pwedeng gamitin kung ano yung um, magiging impression for the kids ng farmers or a farmer's family bakit po ganito? taong grasa? what do we lack in here? we probably lack uh, what could be the long term effect of a certain materials in learning for the kids that is very important may long term effect dapat yun dapat yung iniisip Ano daw akala? Damit? Branded? Of course not. Hindi naman sinabing branded eh. Let me tell you na marami akong kilalang farmer and this woman na nagsabing uh, branded or nag-comment siya ata ang mas mukha pang somebody who is working in a field na sobrang maputik. Oo nga. Siya nga yun. Mas mukha pa po siyang ganon. Alright? This is very this is very insulting of, of our farmers. So yung mga netizens natin ay syempre uh, they all have the opinions at kahit ako hindi hindi man ako nagbigay ng opinion sa mga social media but I'm doing it right here at let me try to check the opinions of or just read at least one one or two of the opinions. Bakit? Kasi ba farmers na ganyan na lang itsura hindi kaya farmers rin naman family namin pero sa awa ng Diyos makasuot naman kami ng magara. Huwag namang maliitin masyado. Exactly. Um, why are we creating that impression that farmers are are like that? Yung pagmamaliit. Exactly. Kung yun yung impression na tinuturo natin sa mga kids, that farmers' life is like this and the way it looks sa pananamit nila ay ganito, do you think the kids would still want to be a farmer in the future? Would they dream of becoming a farmer? No. And in the long run, wala nang magiging farmers in the future. You don't see the importance of farmers in that in that aspect. 
My grandfather was a farmer, and so are my cousins and uncles and aunts. I rarely see them dressed in rags. That's exactly cor that's correct. Rags. I forgot the word rags. Totoo eh, parang basahan eh. Kasi yung mga, yung mga damit nila, there should be a lot of other concepts that could actually give la long lasting positive impression for the kids na nakakabasa or you know, makakakita ng module na yon. Okay, all of them made professional kids. He is talking about the farmers. That's correct. Yung mga farmers natin, lahat yun ay magagandang buhay ang binibigay sa mga anak nila, even professionals. That's true. DepEd has a really big cut in each year's budget but can't hire a decent editor and proofreader. That is correct. I like that. Okay, so that's all about my, my reaction on this. Um, I'm gonna leave something to, to the teachers. Or, kung sino man yung gumagawa ng mga ganito. I was a teacher. At uh, lagi ko iniisip na ako yung nagtuturo sa mga kids na um, I have to be refined in all aspects of what I do inside the classroom. I have to be very careful of what I have to say. Kasi... Um, the impression of the teachers will actually bounce back in all of the teachers kung ano yung sinasabi natin sa classroom okay so that's that's all thank you so much for your time if you still are not part of our channel please go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell icon for you to get updated come on let's let's vault in <laughs> okay you have a great day